Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. This is the part 4 of the solution of paper CC3 that is electricity and magnetism for physics honors under University of Calcutta for semester 2. This is the question paper on 2022. You can see the question paper that is the question number 1, then question number 2, 3, then question number 4, then 5, 6 and 7. In the previous 3 lecture we complete up to question number 5 that is in part 1, question number 1, then part 2, 2, 3, then part 3, 4, 5 and in this part we want to discuss about question number 6 and question number 7. Let's start. First question says, what is reciprocity theorem in connection with mutual inductance between a pair of circuit close to each other? Suppose this is two uh, pair uh, of circuit close to each other. In case flux phi1 through loop C1 when a current flow around C2, when a current flow around this circle or loop, uh, then flux induced in C1 uh, equal to the flux phi2 loop C2 when the same current C1 flow, I, I flows C1. This remarkable property is usually called the reciprocity theorem. That is when the current flow in I1 flux produced in this uh, that is phi1 and uh, loop uh, sorry this is phi2 and for their current they are produce a flux phi1 these two are equal. Okay, remarkable property is well known as the reciprocity theorem. That is, when current flow within that loop, due to this current flow in this loop, the flux uh, produced in this loop is phi1, and when the same current flow in that loop, uh, then flux produced in this one are equal. Two are equal. This is the reciprocity theorem. Two coil with self inductance L1 and L2 with mutual inductance M find the expression of their coefficient of coupling determine the range of its value by reasoning two coil with self inductance l1 and two with mutual inductance m let a current i1 uh, through c1 i1 to c1 this coil c1 a flux phi1 so phi1 equals to l1 i1 let k1 is the flux gate linked of coil c2 so the flux linked with coil c2 will be this one so this is the current uh, c1 due to current in I in C1 the flux through C2 phi2 is k1 phi1 that is k1 l1 i1 again m is the mutual inductance so phi2 is nothing but m i1 hence m i1 equals to k1 l1 i1 that is m equals to k1 l1 similarly if a current i2 flowing through C2 produce a flux phi2 and a fraction k2 of its gate linked up with C2 we can uh, write for the flux through C1 similarly in the opposite position. So if we comparing this to L1 and L equation number 1 and 2 you can write M equals to K root under L1 L2 where K is known as the coefficient of coupling. So coefficient of coupling is the M by root under L1 L2. Its value of K is uh, 0 to 1 when this is there, there, there is a perfectly coupled, uh, coupled then this is perfect coupled when K equals to 1 and this is less than 1 when this is cross couple and other hand k is much less unity loss couple. next a magnetic field b tesla unknown electric field is exists in a region if an electron moving with this region with velocity express no force unknown electric field you know the uh, the net force will be q v cross b that is the force on the uh, moving charge particle in the magnetic field and in the electric field so these two for electron the charge will be minus e net force is 0 so e equals to this one so taking the cross product you will be get the expression of electric field next question says find the inductance of ideal solenoid with length and this is the number of turn in circular cross section area this this is the length this is the number of turns so circular cross section area will be like that so the self inductance of the solenoid is mu naught n square a by i a is nothing but area of cross section that is pi r square here the radius given that's why we need to change here so just putting this value of n pi r etc you will find out the inductance of the coil next question says explain why and how ampere circuital law for steady current was generalized by maxwell in ampere circuital law you know 
close integral close circular integral b dot dl equal to mu i n close suppose there is a capacitor and there is current flow since if you consider this loop you will be obtain the magnetic field not equal to zero but if you consider this loop there is no current so there is no magnetic field so at a particular point if you consider two different loop you will be get different result so this is not a good thing this is, is something error so this will be eliminated by maxwell and introducing by the deep current density by introducing the deep current density this satisfy the same things write the condition of resonance in a lcr circuit so that the average power dissipated in the lcr circuit is maximum its resonance explain why such circuit is called acceptor circuit condition for resonance is the chi l equals to chi c that is the inductive reactance must be equal to capacitive reactance because these two are opposite if these two are cancel out only resistive re reactance resistance is the present so there is no since the maximum power will be dissipated at the region and the power form will be like that okay this will be maximum at this condition uh, this resonance frequency is the maximum that is it accept the maximum signal that is at this frequency the it accept the maximum signal that is the acceptor circuit that's why this is called acceptor circuit next question says what is power factor in an alternating current that is ac current the ratio of the true power dissipation to the apparent power dissipation in the circuit is known as the power factor this lie from 0 to 1 for a uh, pure inductor or pure capacitor this power factor is 0 for pure resistor this power factor is 1 next question in lcr circuit complex impedance is given there alternating voltage is given calculate the power consumed by the circuit power consumed is the irms vrms cos phi that is i0 v0 by cos phi 2 cos phi i0 is the peak value so i0 is v0 by 2z so putting this value you will be get this expression the value of z is nothing but root under root 3 square plus 1 square that is 3 plus 2 4 that is 2 putting this value you will get this one next question using the Thevenin theorem find the value of current passing through this 6 ohm ok so for that you need to uh, calculate the equivalent resistance that is the at, at point a b there is voltage you need to find out the voltage for that we just uh, putting the equivalent resistance that is for 15 ohm and the corresponding current will be voltage by resistance that is 2 third ampere hence the current through each branch in the current through each branch because these two are equal so i by 2 1 third hence the voltage drop of d a is uh, current into resistance and voltage of this one so the voltage difference between these two point that is the thevenin voltage that is 2 volt and the corresponding uh, resistance that is thevenin resistance will be like that if you sorted uh, this one because this is a voltage source is sorted out so these two are parallel and they are series so for series there is uh, produ produce uh, product by 2 and these are parallel conditions so this is 72 by 5 ohm next uh, the equivalent circuit uh, thevenin equivalent circuit will be like that this is the thevenin voltage and this is the uh, thevenin resistance so, so you will be get the following uh, you will be get the following uh, rl will be like that so the current through the resistance total voltage by total resistance so this is the current through this circuit so i think clear if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment box this is all about me this is my contact details and this is my youtube channel so take care we will meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you